Hello and welcome back. This is the first vlog that I have filmed for about eight weeks, maybe. And uh, it's going to be under the new format where I uh, do a quick bit of filming at the weekend and then uh, edit it whilst out on the road and put it out. Obviously, uh, you'll see that I'm changing the time. I'm going to put vlogs out on a uh, Monday rather than a Thursday morning. Now the reason behind that is that if I put them out on Monday at six o'clock, I've hopefully finished or packed up by then and I'll have time to look at the comments uh, and, and answer some uh, or reply to some of the comments. On a Thursday morning, that's not gonna work for me because uh, no doubt on a Thursday morning at half past seven, I'll be driving somewhere. Um, so this is gonna be under the new format. Now what am I doing today? I'm going up to the caravan to check the caravan. Now, we normally do, as you know, people who've been with the channel for quite a, quite a while, um, I normally do a great uh, winterizing uh, of the caravan and make sure everything's okay with the van. Now, this year, we went away in October last year, and when we put the caravan back in storage, we haven't done anything to the caravan at all. Um, I haven't moved anything out. Uh, I haven't done any of the normal winterizing things that I would normally do so this is kind of a check to see how things are going on Angela has been up and checked the caravan because she passes there when she's coming to and from work at the end of work she has been up and checking it I've been up since October I've been up probably twice to have a look at the caravan so we've done none of the usual um, winterizing things that we do with a caravan so it's going to be interesting to see how things are which is what we're going to go and do now this might come back to bite us uh, there might be some faults with the caravan I don't know um, I've not put the solar panel in um, so I don't know how the battery is going to be the battery is still on the caravan I brought the solar panel up with me so we'll have a look at that uh, so we'll just have a general look around the caravan and it's been stood now for I would say since since the end of October uh, 2021 and today uh, I don't, this vlog might go out this week uh, it is the 8th of December now uh, so it's been stood all that time since then so let's get up there have a look around it and see how it's bearing up right we're here uh, we've had a bit of snow um, quite a bit of snow around here this road, the main road down the bottom here was actually shut the other day. So, outside, um, I've not even covered it, not done not, nothing with it. It's looking a bit grubby around the top there. Uh, could do with a good wash. Um, and down the sides, some black streaks and stuff. A bit of green around the edges, but that'll all clean up. Uh, the back camera ID uh, still on yeah it doesn't look too dirty um, I mean that side looks fairly clean but it's uh, close up it is a bit mucky um, but there's just like bits of green round, round where you get around the edges and stuff like that uh, and uh, around the win windows and um, yeah, well it doesn't look too bad outside, so let's have a look inside. Um, oh, I wanted to show you this actually, because um, I uh, didn't have a right phone before, but I'll just show you this. So this Caravan ID, that's my NFC reader, so if I get my, I didn't have this last time, if I get my phone and I scan, which is scanning there, you don't see that so we scan the reader and there you go it tells me that picture of my caravan and you can see that and it tells me uh, the details of the caravan and that the caravan is in storage so that's the caravan id um nfc reader and these are some new stickers that have come out uh, i've got some new newer ones but i'll show you them at a later date so first lock off see inside I could do with taking the locks off actually and just making sure they do come off uh, let's get a step out <coughs> okay in we 
go. So as I said, we've done absolutely nothing at all with the caravan. Not even open the cupboards like we normally do, uh, move the cushions uh, uh, or anything. Um, so it'll be interesting to see inside the cupboards, they feel okay. Um, I think one of the things behind this was to see that um, I think somebody commented it. I put a, a, a picture on Instagram and, and said that I hadn't done anything with the van uh, a while ago and somebody said it'd be interesting to see what it's like and um, when I used to leave all the cupboards door, doors open um, the uh, the cupboards would slightly warp, but they've not done that because all oh, God, look at that! God, I didn't realise that we've still got food in there. Oh no, didn't know that. And that's from <laughs> that's from when we last went away. I better take those on. There's food in there and rice, uh, uh, jar jar of curry. Oh, I'll take that lot home. I didn't even know that was there. And the cupboards seem okay. Uh, that one's slightly, yeah, that one's slightly stuck. Um, but yeah, all that seems okay. Inside the fridge, it, there's no mould or anything in there. The floor needs cleaning because like when we were leaving last time, there's a bit of quite windy and a load of leaves blew inside it. Um, what am I checking? I'm looking at the walls to make sure there's no the, the walls are completely dry, there's no condensation, there's, you know, there's nothing, nothing worrying really. If I look round the windows, they look fine. Um, caravans are, are, are vented and, uh, you know, that's the way they're designed to, to, to be vented. There's vents in them. At the back, we even left, normally we put these in, in bags, but again, that, that feels okay. Uh, the cupboards they're fine absolutely fine um, bathroom one thing I normally do is I normally open the blade on the toilet and I haven't done this year now that that could I'll open it now that could cause us a problem because it might have worn down the um, the, the rubber seal um, Inside here, everything looks absolutely fine. The walls feel okay. The shower cubicle looks okay. The waste master, everything in there looks good. Um, and one thing I do know I need to do, and that is the Alder heating fluid. Uh, it's actually, there's the minimum, it's just on the minimum. That's not been used at all. Uh, it's got, there's still some bedding in there and a towel. <laughs> This is, like I said, we, we, we hadn't done, that's just slightly out that door, we hadn't done anything with it at all, um, but it's it's okay, this cupboard, not opened it, there's cloths in there and everything, hmm, let's have a look at the battery, because I was a bit concerned about the battery, so we'll turn the master switch on, uh, it's just showing about 12 and a half volts that, um, you can see that 12 and a half volts and that's held oh well, the heating's kicked in oh right switch that off um so with the master on i'm just gonna put the lights on check the lights everything seems to be working i'm not going to be up here too long so i'm not in the past i've put the heating on I'm not going to put the heating on because that will just build up condensation. Um, yeah, everything looks okay. Uh, check these lights at the back. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm going to put the solar panel in the front and then uh, switch the master off. Yeah, uh, overall, I'm, I'm quite impressed to say that we've we've uh, we've done absolutely nothing with it at all. It's single condition, you know. Everything seems to be, you know, 
really dry and there's no condensation there's no there's no damp um yeah it looks good so all that winter preparation that that we do every year is it worth it well yes it probably is it probably is worth doing it's particularly draining down the water system i haven't drained down the water system we've done nothing with that anything um but we are going to get it serviced um uh, well service obviously we service it every year but we're going to get it serviced next year i'm going to do the alder heating fluid uh, and then that that'll be okay but <laughs> i'm really I'm really impressed with this. Um, the, the fact that it, it looks okay um, and it doesn't smell. There's the, like I've been in some caravans that have been stuffed for ages, and you get this kind of like a dampy smell, but there's there's nothing. It, it smells absolutely fantastic. It, it does. Yeah. So I'm really impressed with that. Let's get the solar panel in, and then uh, we'll finish off. So I don't know if you can see this under the bed. Everything's okay underneath there, and you can see the solar panel charger at the back there is lit up. Uh, and it is actually charging. Um, remember, I put when I got one on the roof. I put this one in last year. I put the cables in. I put a link in the description. Oh, I'll put a link up above. Um, and that has only just gone back in today, so that's charging. So, what what are my kind of thoughts? Yeah, it's okay. I wouldn't recommend not doing anything with your caravan over winter, preparing it for for winterization. You know. I would strongly recommend that you, that you do something with it, either drain drain the water system down, and and uh, if you can cover it, cover it or whatever if you need to. But um, we haven't even put the the dehumidifiers in this year. Um, but ca caravans are meant to be. I think if it's if it's like it is now and it's been left, it's not been opened, um, and it's kind of sealed. And the outside, it's just kind of done what it needs to do, and and you know the caravan's breathing and air's circulating around it, and you know I've looked under the benches and everything, and everything's fine. So, you know this this year, we've not done anything to it because of circumstances. I've been working away, and it's just been difficult at the weekends. So I'd rather be at home and messing about with the caravan. Um, and I'll be honest, I had lost a bit of love for the caravan, uh, and. Um, a lot of interest in it but it's kind of coming back now which is good um but also i only noticed as well the trims haven't come off as well the trims normally come off the side but they've not done but it's fine everything seems to be fine i'm, I'm really impressed i'm happy with it you know it's going to be okay we're not going away in it till easter but before then we will we will take it home and we'll give it a good clean inside and out and have it serviced and we're going to get the the alder fluid done before then um, but it, it's uh, it's holding up really well you know for a, a, a 10 coming up to 11 year old caravan um it stood it's it stood its test i, I think uh, you know it's 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 really well it's in good nick it's it's well it's, it's looked after but i think it's in really good condition for it for its year so that's it yeah um you know just a quick quick vlog hopefully you know the caravan's fine uh, we're all fine uh, done nothing to it for storage over winter and it seems to be okay um but yeah it's it's all good so thanks for watching uh you take care and we will see you soon bye bye